Welcome everyone. It's Monday. It's the start of another week. And in spite of what you see on the screen right now, it is not a multimedia Monday. This week's show has been preempted by the second half of last Wednesday's show. Mm -hmm. uh, if you were here for last Wednesday, we were right in the middle of showing off what Shinmu and other Dreamcast demo discs. We were getting ready to talk to one of, Sh one of Ryo's friends, almost called him Shinmu. <laughs> And then the dang power went out. God decided, nope, no, that stream's obviously not going nowhere, so y'all can just pack it up for tonight. <laughs> uh, we did get power back eventually. Eventually. And working internet, eventually. eventually. And it's, it seems to be back up and running. So yeah. here's hoping for a good second half of that Wednesday stream. That was a really complicated <laughs> intro I just gave. This is going to be a real simple setup. We're going to play Dreamcast demo disc, and we're going to have fun, damn it. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, Danny's uh, taken. He's uh, he's taking over my media shelf, my stream. I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. How yeah. you doing, Alex? I'm good. I'm good. How about you? I'm great. I am ready to have some fun. I I would like to stream. Yeah, hopefully uh, we will not get spectrum today. <laughs> yeah, no thunderstorms. Uh, the power. We have not experienced any brownouts for several days now. So I'm hoping this is a nice, uh, stable stream. Right, I want got, stability, damn it. We got 69 bits from Kate Lib who says, need some multimedia Dreamcast games one day. Yes. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, this is Volume 2, the new and improved version. Let's play it. Alright, sorry about that. Apparently I thought I unmuted the Elgato and... Oh, that's fine. Sorry we were quiet there. We're back. Uh, it's, it's the, yeah, just playing the lightning this time, but we're back. Uh, as Danny said, we were playing Dreamcast Generator Volume 2. It came bundled with my Dreamcast. It came bundled with Danny's Dreamcast. It came bundled with everyone's Dreamcast. Wait, was our mic muted? Yes, it's unmuted now. I'm... Hmm. Okay. Let's play some Dreamcast demo discs. It wasn't muted from the beginning. It was only unmuted when I tried to uh, unmute the Elgato. Okay. So this is it. Dreamcast Generator. For a lot of people, including me, this was their first glimpse of the power of the Dreamcast. This followed up on Volume 1, and this one has... Really? Railroad Tycoon? Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Arpiga, for the nine-month resub. Arpiga says, huzzah, we can hear. Excellent. So, like I said during last week's stream, we're going to try to evaluate these games. We're going to see if they're worth re-exploring in a more in-depth stream. Uh, that's what demo discs are for. It's about sampling. It's like ordering a big sampler platter and eating it all by yourself. So it's like going to a Chili's. Why don't we just play these in order? Fuck it. Tomb okay. Raider, The Last Revelation. Oh shit, we're going into the, the cyber hole here. This is Tomb Raider 4? 5? Anyway, this was the first one on Dreamcast. There was this and then Chronicles, which I'm pretty sure was 5. Ah, uh, it's Tomb Raider 4, okay. Yeah. 1 through 3, only on PC and PS1. But the Dreamcast only got the best Tomb Raiders. I promise there will be no more fuck-ups. I'm gonna absolutely fuck up. I gotta get into my groove, Alex. I know, me too. You disturb my groove, you disturb the stream. <laughs> now look at me, I'm gonna groove all over this Eidos logo. Hey, hey, I, we're, we, we were warned by uh, uh, Twitch not to groove on stream anymore. <laughs> okay. Space. The f oh, it's core. <laughs> I thought Lara Croft was going to head into space. I'd watch that. Maybe she should. Yeah, the Retro Pals promise. I'll, Alex will never fuck up. You know, let's just fucking launch her to space. Why not? Yeah. Tomb Raider in space. Make her fight the Leprechaun. <laughs> I was going to say, make her fight Elon Musk. And Jason. And all <laughs> those other uh, horror villains they set into space. Oh, look at this fly-through. Ooh, pretty. This is nice. Start her up. 
Now, thanks to the power of GD-ROM, these demos can have their original FMVs. Oh. Because there is enough disk space for that. Let me crank this. It's a little quiet here. <laughs> Uh, thank you to Krungo for the nine-month resub. Krungo says, wasn't the last stream the lightning grabs? Listen, you. you. Know, Listen, I, you. I didn't even realize that when I was naming the stream. But yeah, that's that's an incredibly clever thing I did. Thank you. Laura, right. just kicking the shit out of a, a camel. That's cool. Laura, come on, man. Uh, what's the difference between Lara Croft and a camel? A camel only has two humps. Wait, what does that mean? What the fuck does that mean, Danny? <laughs> <laughs> Explain yourself! No. Okay, there we fucking go. You're being banned, fair enough. Oh shit, scorpions. Uh, no, we're fine. Yeah, her third hump is a uh, staph infection. She's not getting treated. You're being accused of being George Wood, by the way. <laughs> Look, all I want is a new Tomb Raider where Lara has to race to the hospital to <laughs> deliver her baby. I think this could be innovative new gameplay. I like how he was the first guy who was like, what if these characters died or whatever? And that's all these games are, too. Yeah. He was at the forefront of video game narratives. It just took a while for the video game industry to catch up. And so our adventure begins. We fell flat on our ass. There we go. Yeah, Laura broke all her legs. All 12 of them. I've broken so many of Laura Croft's bones. I haven't even played Tomb Raider all that much. That just kind of happens when you play those games. <laughs> Sorry, just like, you gotta break Laura's bones! Well, you ever played a Tomb Raider? That game's all about falling and dying. That's why I didn't like it. That's why I took it back to the store. You're like, I'm sick of these... I am sick of breaking Lars' bones. That's right. Uh, I may have told this story before, but I got Tomb Raider for Christmas the year it came out. Didn't like it. I took it back to the store. <laughs> Egypt. Can I get this? Oh, this frame rate. I don't know about oh, this. Oh, I don't know about this either. Okay, this controls like the first three, it seems like. Yeehaw! Let's go explore! I like what she doing, she's like... Laura, you can't just fucking... I just like how that guy, she's like shooting at him, and he's like, whatever, Laura. <laughs> yeah. What the hell, girl? Clearing a path here. Oh, what is that Joker gun I just got? <laughs> you know what? We are, we're seeing some rocks right now. <laughs> There's a lot of rocks here. Uh. <laughs> I can't talk to this guy. He's lost in thought. He probably just saw you shooting cr like crazy and he's trying to get away, man. Yeah, well. Laura, watch your ass. Who messaged Alex? I did. I messaged myself. Get out of the classroom. You're not allowed to learn today. I will never learn, you know me. There's a camera pan that extends the game by up to 10 seconds. Whoa, something's chewing on me. Is that happening during the cutscene? What? Jesus, did you just shoot a dog? Well, that was Anubis. He was, he was transformed. Anubis, you can take him down with, like, six Well, bullets. you can't pet the dog in this game, apparently. Oh, no. Jesus. This looks <laughs> like a blurrier, more jittery PS1 game to me. Which I guess it kind of is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Professor Gaskin. This is The Last of Us 2 that everyone's talking about. Mm-hmm. Real controversial. 
I guess Lara Croft just hates animals. Sorry. You begin Tomb Raider 1 by shooting a bunch of wolves. Where have yeah. you been? I know. That's what I'm saying. We're talking about how she just has, you know... She's just... She's... She, she just has issues she needs to work on for real. Thank you, Mostly Kobolds, for the uh, subscription. Do appreciate that. Mm, thank you. We are playing Dreamcast Generator. Nope, oh, scorpion. They'll sneak up on you. See, shooting a scorpion, I think that's a little excessive, but, you know. I just used, like, three clips on the two, those two scorpions. You can grab this, right? <laughs> She's just shooting all these artifacts up, and everything's getting destroyed in this tomb, and... But don't worry, she got the scorpion at the end. Yeah. Well, like I said, I don't much like Tomb Raider, and this game is not doing anything to win me over. Yeah. Sorry, uh, all you tomb heads. And I did say this was a lightning round, so all these games are only going to get a couple minutes. Which, yeah, you only need a couple minutes to wow me. This is a demo disc. That seems good. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the sand, you know? The one thing that Laura loves. Sand and tombs. Um, you know what? <laughs> if you're looking for Elmo, I recommend, wa or Grover, I recommend watching us on Wednesday. We will probably have some options for you there. Mm -hmm. It's finally gonna happen. <sighs> for all these years, we finally got this the children's television workshop people in our corner. Well, that was a dud. That's yeah, Tomb Raider, The that. Last Level Revelation, a game you shouldn't need to play. Good job, Lara. You had a couple minutes to wow us. Instead, you put us to sleep. <laughs> Not a great start. That's one game out of the, what, 200 Dreamcast games released in the States? That's one less game we have to play. We will never play Tomb Raider again. Unless you all vote for it, in there which was, case we will have to. There was one Tomb Raider game that began with you in front of, like, this ancient jar, and you could shoot it, and then a big spider came out of it. That's the that's the Tomb Raider demo that made an impression on me. Yeah, you have to restart. You can't go back to the menu. Here the we go. This is, the, this is the real shit. Some people have told me this is a platformer, so we need to actually research this. Oh, it's got Turok controls. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh are you, no. Are you ready to tour rock? No. I'm not ready to tour rock or tour roll. I'm ready to tour curl up in bed. <laughs> hey, bizarre, bizarre creations. The Project Gotham people. Oh. This was before they found their niche in the racing genre. Oh, we got some furry techno here. Oh, I love this. F fl fluff fluff match? They're not that streamable, babe. Fluff match. Yeah, we better evaluate this off stream. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> All right, which of you drew this? Oh, I wish I had widescreen set up. Whatever. Okay, this is a promising start. We can play as Rufus from Glasgow, Scotland. He can burrow into soft mounds of earth. We can also play as Juliet from France. Will you say that? Okay, she can climb walls. Bungalow, the um, kangaroo? I guess. Tweak, who is not available in the demo. Okay. Neither is Rico. Mm -hmm. Chang and. I want to be... We gotta be Juliet. You gotta be Juliet. It's a cat. Yeah. She can climb the walls. Okay, and if you want to go... Uh, if you press all four face buttons and press start, it'll uh, boot you straight back to the demo menu for that. Yep, that is what I did last time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Now we're talking. Okay. You can do a melee attack. So this is like the opposite of the, of the Tomb Raider game, because now you're the animal shooting people. Yeah, it's like it's fun. Yeah, find Laura and get her ass. Oh, this is weird. Okay, I have to hold Y to go forward and push L to jump and R to shoot. 
I don't know if the controls warranted that being being like this, but whatever. Oh, weird. This That's controls strangely. I forgot about the Turok era. Does this work for you, or...? Kinda? It's kinda like a WASD setup, but for, uh... Did you just kill Chester Cheetah? Yeah. Had Good, get, get, you, get him out of here! Oh my god, it does have platforming. But what? is it platforming, or is this more like Metal Arms, is the thing? Yeah, that's the thing. This may be more of a shooter. Can I double jump? No. Damn. Can I get run over? Uh, cool. Okay, it's good to be run over. I don't know, I'm kind of liking this one. It's not it's got a right. nice fluid frame rate. It's got some wacky critters. It's got collectible doodads. This sounds like next generation Amiga music. I was gonna say, this is very Amiga-esque. It was like techno at the beginning, but then it got real, like, Amiga core. Hey, you, excuse me, you got... Danny clipping through shit. <laughs> uh, Coke Coyote with 25 bits says, I think I once saw a fluff match in an Anthrocon back in the day. Happy Pride Month, everybody! <laughs> Hell Pride. yeah. I don't think I can jump high to get on this thing. Maybe I can jump on the wheels. Yeah, there we go. Take me away, uh, bulldozer. I don't think this is a great place to be. There we go. Oh, look at this. Scratches, I can climb up. Oh, nice. Cat exclusive skill. <gasps> Philippe has rocket farts. Oh, that's Goodbye. a jetpack. Aw, <laughs> she purrs! <laughs> Alright. This is a winner. Lara Croft is a loser. This random cat is the winner. Thank you so much, Apricot Ghost, for the 10 month resub. Apricot Ghost says, Oh shit, Fur Fighters, I played this on the PS2. You know, it's funny. That's right, I, this did have a PS2 game. I actually saw uh, so one of my friends uh, was tweeting the other day about really liking this game, and I was like, oh yeah, I never played Fur Fighters, and here we go. I get yeah. to finally see it in action. That seems okay to me. Yeah, yeah, Laura Croft doesn't have, like, she's not a cat, so. She sorry. doesn't purr nearly enough. Mm -mm. Alright, let's shoot some more. Oh my god! <laughs> I got, ah, shit! I got by, ambushed. By a construction worker, apparently. These animals have infrastructure. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised this isn't more gory than it is. It feels yeah. like, It feels like something they would do back then. Like, it's not enough to have cute animals, you gotta have them, like, losing limbs and shit. I fluffed it! You fluffed it, babe. So I love the way you just scoot on the thing there. This has potential. We might want to return to this. Boy, I'm getting shot to shit, huh? Fucking rip Danny. I guess this is supposed to be a cover shooter. Oops. Ah, shit. One more you time. You fluffed it. I fluffed it. Can you straight? Yes, you can. Nice. With the face buttons, so it's not entirely intuitive. This... I do like how kind of cutesy this is, I'm not gonna lie. I yeah. like... I have a soft spot for... I have a soft spot for shooters that aren't, like, gray and brown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's... It's just, it's colorful. Mm-hmm, the designs... I know I'm a furry, but I think the designs are cute. Sorry, that's... See, just like Super Mario 3D World, another instance of Nintendo ripping off Sega. Mmm. 
who shoots. <laughs> Get their ass, Danny. You call it a handle. Yeah, I actually, the reason I never kind of looked into this game was I assumed it was super edgy just because of the aesthetic and the time. Yeah, yeah, it would be like Happy Tree Friends or yeah. something. Remember that time. Uh, no. Yes. Why did I say no? Yes, I do. I, I think I was saying no. Remember when Hot Topic ruled society as oh. we knew it? Wow. Oh, being able to aim with the left stick just doesn't feel right. I don't know if the font would look better on the CRT, but yeah, it is hard to read. Yeah. This is just S-Video we're dealing with, still not VGA just yet. Having to diagonally hit two face buttons at once is kind of painful. Yeah, come here, motherfucker. Sorry, I cursed. No, yeah, we, we never curse on this stream. Watch yourself, dude. These animals wouldn't curse. Yeah, watch your fucking mouth. They're more tactful than that. Mm-hmm. They're hiding in little enclaves. Listen, I haven't been to a Hot Topic in... God, a billion years. So, I'm glad to know that they still have good merch. But... That slow motion fall they do when they die. It's pretty good. So you, it seems like you've been playing this for longer than uh, Laura, Croft, and Pal, so... Oh yeah, my that's god, he's it's changed! Fun. Oh, he can be different animals! Oh my god, I love this dog! He looks like... Look at his big floppy ears. Oh, I love this guy! Oh my god! Oh my god, okay. The, the head in the lower left does a little dance when you collect the thing. I love his outfit, his little vest, and... Oh man, this dog rules. Looks like they all get their own loadouts, too. Alright, I'm finding out where there are no Hot Topics. Uh, there's no Hot Topic in Ireland. There may not be a Hot Topic in Ireland or in Can in rural Canada. I, 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 I've lived in, in California and I've lived in, in Texas and every mall has a Hot It's like it's legally required in America, in most of America, for a mall to have a Hot Topic, even if the mall is dying, I think. Yeah. Like, it's part of... Used to be that way with Claire's. It's in the Constitution. Yeah, yeah, Claire's and... <laughs> Fucking Claire's. You know what's funny? My my only memory of Claire's is getting my ears pierced there, like, as a, as a child, and them having Tank Girl... I got my ears pierced because I had Tank Girl earrings on clearance, and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna wear Tank Girl earrings. And I wore it, like, twice, and my... My ears are, my ear holes are now closed up because I was like, well... Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah. So, to those of you who have played this more, would you say this is worth ranking as a platformer? There's a decent amount of platforming already, but the focus is obviously on the shooting. Yes, Bath and Body Works is also inescapable from the, the dying malls, too. Like, it's like the only thing surviving is GNC, Hot Topic, and Bath and Body Works. You can get you can get your vitamins, and then you can get some soap, and then you can go to Hot Topic and get like your uh, Funko Pops, and then you can take the soap and wash your Funko Pops. That's right. Only the cats can <laughs> climb. This damn dog can't do shit. Yeah, you can get swole, goth, and smelly, which I think is my aesthetic at this point. I like that he just has a crank with him. <laughs> it's a good idea. They come in handy. In case you're playing Resident Evil. You know, I, I I can't speak for other malls, but I've seen lids finally start to... Ooh, look at this. It's pushing to together parts of the environment. Hey, that's cool. That is cool. Go ahead. Oh, that was a starter handle you picked up earlier, by the way. Ah, okay. I thought they were calling a gun a handle. Oh! Oh, look at them! Baby! It's gonna go right through the roof. I have I have actually not seen a lids in a dying mall in a long time, so maybe they're gone. But maybe I mean I I've never also been in a lids because I remember I would go to a mall and be like I want to see the stores. And every time I'd see a lids, I'd be disappointed because I'd be like, is this just hats? Is this really just hats? <laughs> is this really hats and it's spelled with a Z? <laughs> uh. Hats. 
Okay, Ameri I know American malls and Canadian malls are different, but like, what? I gotta know, what's the do y'all still have a lot of pretzels there? Because America loves our pretzels at our malls. And America's I love affair with pretzels. Why? Why do we have a love affair with pretzels? <laughs> oh, oh, he can dig because he's a dog. I didn't approve of that noise. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it very much. Look at this graphic they drew for that sign. <laughs> hey, it gets the job done, man. <laughs> it's clear, it's visual and clear. Is it? Is it though? I'm surprised how much I'm enjoying this. They could have easily messed it up if they made the controls real shit, or if they just like, uh... Peacock! Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Or if they went the gory route, like I said. But they showed some restraint, and I think it paid off. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I do, I wanna, I wanna just clarify, I do love pretzels. I am not complaining about all the pretzels, although I am complaining that I can't eat them. But, no, no, I get it. And okay, guess, well, the game has decided enough fun. We're going to time out in 20 seconds. Yeah, so I guess we better move on after this. Yeah. For some reason, I always wrote off this game, uh, probably for all the reasons I just listed. But <laughs> now I know, and I think we may end up playing this on a Mascot Friday now, because they weave the platforming in with the gameplay. It's not just you shoot a bunch of dudes and then you do, like, one platforming thing. I have no idea what Zellers is. I assume that's Canadian. Rip Zellers, absolutely. Frenzied foreplay action. Hmm. Could you not? In fluff matches. Happy Pride Month, y'all. <laughs> okay, Zellers is like Target or K oh, Kmart. Okay, okay. Good to know. I, I am not very aware of... Uh, of other other stuff and yeah i, I don't like, like that ghost of tony hawk up there okay i love his face <laughs> and i'm sad because the end screen was i love tony's face i love tony's face so much they can't see you circling the screen in obs alex well that's i'm circling it for my own sake railroad tycoon 2 let's go <laughs> let's fucking go Danny. i'm gonna build some railroads I do like that the ghost of Tony Hawk is here to to haunt us. We gotta play his game eventually, I suppose. Mm -hmm. We do have to play Tony Hawk. Or he'll haunt us. Of all people, I'm like, you know what? I bet Tony I bet if Tony Hawk died, he wouldn't haunt me. Oh, you know why they call it Windows C E, right? Because you wince every time you see that logo. <laughs> ah. Win C E games on Dreamcast typically aren't that great. <laughs> Are you in a 2002 Linux IRC chat? Yeah. More like wind blows. Oh no, I didn't read the instructions. <laughs> you gotta build the railroad, baby! Well, first we gotta turn up the speed. Oh my god, this music! What? What is with this? This music is going hard. Oh, we're riding the rails. Y'all forgot to make this readable. Hey, uh... They only had headlines back Hold then. on, hold on, let me zoom in. Okay. Maybe I'll turn the speed back down so we don't constantly get newspaper pop-ups. So this seems like a train. Mm -hmm. Only with more trains, somehow. Oh, hell yeah, this is what oh, we like to call no. train core. Uh, oh, they're shift, they're shift keys. You have to hold a trigger and push a button to do certain functions. Music's escalating. Welcome to Baltimore, everyone. Oh, hell yeah! Yeah, fucking go for it! Double tracks. Why do single tracks when you can do double? Put him in the ocean! Put him into, like... Yeah, yeah, fuck it up! Maybe this is the worst train ever! I'm gonna go through the hills of Baltimore. Good question. Do you know if this game uh, supports uh, keyboard or mouse? Pretty likely. Yeah, there were keyboard and mouse peripherals for Dreamcast, and... Even some shooters used them. I know Quake 3 and Unreal let you use a, a traditional mouse and keyboard setup. So, I already know we're not going to get anywhere in this, but this is a railway sim, much like A-Train. Mm -hmm. Only it takes place in America. Maybe that makes all the difference. Wait, I think A-Train took place in America, too. Mm -hmm. This, uh... 
This controller is less than ideal. I, I was, I'm just, I, I'm seeing the only struggle and I feel bad, but I'm just, I'm just here rocking out. I'm sorry. Ah, shit. Man, someone's honking on Bobo. I was gonna say, so that Bobo's getting honked. Wait a second. What? <laughs> Look at my track maintenance feet. It's because I built all that track. I've been running to the ground already. Oh, rip, uh, rip Danny Railway. All right, it's my first day on the job. Uh, Y'all just start building in that general direction. I'm sure we have the budget for it. Oops. Well, time to shut down Baltimore. Baltimore's gone. Yep, we're right there. Okay, so this is uh, mouse compatible and apparently arcade stick compatible, at least in the power version. <laughs> it's an arcade stick. I would love, no way, I want to do these games with an arcade stick. You know, Mara has an arcade stick. Maybe I can borrow from her to play like uh, City Skylines or Open TTD or something. You know this is a good game because there's a supply and demand button. That's what motivates the market. Okay, you know? they want passengers? Okay, we, we need goods. Bring the goods. Get good. A saloon? Get goods. You're right. We should build a saloon. Where? Uh, nowhere, because I have no money. I was gonna money. say, you have no money! You can't build shit! Whoops, I pushed the wrong button. Aw, oh, damn. <laughs> That's Railroad Tycoon 2. <laughs> Something that was worth checking out for the intense Bobo honking, but not so much for the rest of the game. I love it when Bobo's honking on it. I saw you honking on Bobo, says the ghost of Tony Hawk. <laughs> Tony, leave us alone! He's always watching us honk on Bobo. I... No? I you didn't have pick... to play Sonic now. I didn't pick anything. You have to play Sonic now. Well... They decided for you. I've played Sonic. We played all the way through Sonic. No. You have to play this version. Okay. Sorry. They just... The Dreamcast decided for you. You will never be... You will never be free of Sonic Adventure games. It will be forever haunted. I played all the way through this. You saw me. All the character stories. Big the cat. Do it, Danny. Alright, I guess this is a speed run. Okay. Fuck it, I want to play a good game. Yeah, I was gonna say! <laughs> like, like, you have a fun to play! You should give yourself a chance! Rescue Tails, it looks like he's dead. <laughs> oh shit, you can destroy these? Yeah! Break shit. Have you have you not destroyed those before? I guess not. Oh, it's fun. No, it's fun being super destructive in this level. And in a lot of this game too, if you can. We gotta get the animals so we can raise up our chows. We're gonna like we're gonna spend the rest of the stream like raising all the different chows. Mm -hmm. the, uh, I don't know if anyone's heard of this game, but this is a pretty good one. Some Dreamcast fans played this back in the day. I like the water. Yeah. I hear this game represents uh, fish life really well. Like uh, what it's like to be a fish? Mm-hmm. There's apparently a whale at some point. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've uh, I've heard a little bit about this game, but you know, it's kind of a little one of those hidden gems. I yeah. Think. It's kind of underground. Yeah. Real big in the punk scene. Yeah, it's real. It's real hard to get merch for this guy too. You know, this uh, what's his name? Uh, Shadow. Oh. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> he launched out the back of the loop. Damn it, Shadow. Shadow, you gotta do better. Yeah, check this out. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey. No sass in me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So help me, I'll turn this hog around and start honking on Bobo again. <laughs> Please stop honking on Bobo, we were partnered. <laughs> Both in marriage and in business on Twitch. It's apparently no longer publicly acceptable to honk on Bobo. That's, that's what you get now. Typical PC society. <laughs> yeah, there you go, look. A killer whale in its natural habitat, destroying sea world. <laughs> Honestly, go for it, man! Fucking... Corky can do whatever she fucking wants. Yeah, you can't honk on anything anymore. That was... The only person who's allowed to honk on things is, is Corky the Whale from SeaWorld. And she's gonna honk on, uh... 
the infrastructure here at the beach. I love the shift in music here. I do too. I actually, that, I also that's like telling that, you when shit gets real. I also like that it has to pause to do it too. Yeah. Apparently that wasn't the case in development. This was all going to be one unbroken thing, but then they had to split it up with a really obvious split point. Fuck it. Let's do a playthrough of Sonic Adventure again. No. It starts now. Danny, my brain is not doing well. No. Please, God. We haven't played Sonic Adventure DX. Or Sonic Adventure HD. Good night. Are we, if we were doing this now, at least let me get like a sandwich first or something. Okay. It will take you to panels two and three. Jump as soon as you land on a panel. Or panel hop and hog. hog. You love just calling him a hog today. He is. He's a good hog though. He's a honking hog. A real hog honker. Dolphins. Yeah, there's nothing I love to do than, yes. than honk my favorite hog here. Well, that game's okay. Yeah, it's alright. I think it could do pretty well for the Dreamcast, if you're into that kind of thing. I do think it's really fucking funny that it made you play it. <laughs> In store now! Oh, hell yeah! Get Just it! Just one. You, you're, gonna have, you're gonna have to look for it. It's in that hot topic. I'm not gonna tell you which one. <laughs> oh, I'm being owned through clips, thanks. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry! <laughs> I thought I was gonna land on that... whatever. I owned myself earlier, so it's, you know, only fair. Hmm, what do you say we visit the ghost of Tony Hawk? Yes, finally! We finally have Pro Skater on here. Yes. I always felt this game played kind of strangely with the Dreamcast controller. But then again, every Dreamcast game does. Yeah, it makes you kind of warp your hands into a horrible shape. Yeah, I can attest to back in the day, if you played Dreamcast for a long time, your hands would hurt. Mm-hmm. Especially with a game that made you grip it real hard, like Crazy Taxi. Oh my god, oh my god, my hand hurt like shit after Crazy Taxi. It would hurt less to drive a real taxi. Ah, oh, speaking of hogs, it's never soft. Hmm. Treyarch. They're a little bit bigger nowadays. But what do they do? They do, like, everything for Activision. They do every other Call of Duty game. Oh, damn. Alright, get skate, smash boxes, find a tape, get points. <laughs> That's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, everybody. Tony, what are you doing? Oh. Go, Tony, go. So this is a video game about skateboarding. It's got a bunch of uh, your favorite skaters from back in the day. Mm -hmm. Your Bam Margeras, your Chad Muskas, your uh, other characters. I played a lot of Tony Hawk 1 and 2. I did every goal in this game and the sequel. I played I played some of them, but the one that I played the most was uh, the first Tony Hawk Underground. I played so much of the original Tony Hawk Underground. Oh, you a thug fan? I was that I was. Yeah, I don't know if it's still like great, but I really enjoyed it. It's great if you're into Bam, I hear. I wasn't, but I was I was really into the open world grinding. I was really into just going crazy and just like going There's an nuts. appeal to open world grinding. Hmm? There's an appeal to it. It is. It's really fun to just be like, okay, it's open world, you can go where you want, but also you can just, you know, grind on all these uh LA uh, or whatever skateboarding. Fucking... What was that? All those power lines. I oh, did I got... not up upload my picture via the Thug website. I got the skate tape. You think when they remake this, they're going to replace those with, like, Blu-rays or something? They don't, <laughs> they don't make skate Blu-rays. They don't make skate... It's skate YouTube videos now, so it yeah. should be, like, digital files you're collecting. Ooh. Totally. Like, you're collecting digital files or uh, things like that. Hey, Soviet Bear, we're playing uh, Dreamcast demos, and mm -hmm. we're playing Tony Hawk right now, and he's having a bad time. It's been a while. That, and I'm playing on Dreamcast controller. Yeah, it's MP4 icons you're going to collect in the new <laughs> yeah, version. it's going to be a bunch of VLC icons. <laughs> Flash drives, <laughs> fucking, yeah. Four tapes in one run, not bad. I haven't skated in many a year. <laughs> you're just collecting TikTok links, yeah, Joe Bush! <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, confirmed, Tony Hawk is still fun. It looks a little bit better on Dreamcast, but not enough to be worth playing with this controller, I don't think. Uh, your opinion may differ. Please feel free to share it, if you have one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, join the conversation, talk. Yeah. Um. It's kind of weird how Tony Hawk like added new crucial mechanics for every game. Like, two, introduced the manual. Three, introduced the revert. And then four, they were just like, I don't know, make it open world from now on. That's kind of when I stopped caring. I like the first, like, I, I haven't played past Thug, but, the first Thug, but I, I really did enjoy the open worldness there, but I can imagine that gets really insufferable after a while. You haven't played Thaw, American Wasteland? No! I have not. Or Project 8? No, I have not. THP8. Great. Let's play. Now this is a classic Dreamcast game right here. I have not played the uh, Pro Skater uh, for PS1 port, nah. Oh, they did put that on PS1, didn't they? Here you go. Oh. Let's fight. It? Okay. I just kind of shoved a controller. In I was like, ah! Did I press start? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Or can you play? We'll see. Let's see if it lets you join in. That would be a shame if this was a single player demo. <laughs> She's having a good time. Is she or is she fucking laughing away the pain? Get ready. Not letting you join in? Hold on. I'm trying, I'm pressing. Damn, I guess not. Well, this is single player dead or alive. This is a game about looking at ninja girls as panties. I'm sorry, I'm just telling it how it is. Danny, please. It's a lot like Virtua Fighter, just a lot faster. I had fun with this game way back when. I've only played the volleyball game. Winner! That's a good game. I just like getting the stuff and giving it to other people. It's yeah. cool. It's a gift giving sim and a vacation sim. I do love when you give them a gift and then they just throw it away. Yeah. Like, huh, thanks. <laughs> I like how the screen darkens and then it just says in text, Ayane threw away your present. Do you think the dumpster? I I gotta say, I really want a dumpster dive on that uh, the Dead or Alive beach volleyball. Island. Dude, you could get like whole cheesecakes. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, you see this? She kicks high. Some of y'all remember that. I remember. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> Gamers remember. Gamers react. Some very fluid action in this game. It feels good to beat up on people. I can Helix. see why it lasted so long. Helix, I agree. I think the male fighters do deserve uh, the same physics that the women have, except they deserve it in like their butts and maybe their crotch. That would be amazing. Give crotch male crotches jiggle jiggle physics. I am sick. <laughs> it's Pride Month. We deserve this. It is all we deserve. Get ready. Yeah, it was weird that the that the Dead or Alive 3 commercials were like a bunch of men just getting fucking boners. And I was like, that's weird, right? That that's, was weird. That's what commercials were like back then for games. Having the fucking, oh, we can't stand up. Like, this is so weird. Luckily, it's entirely different nowadays. Dick. Yeah, ball jig with dick, I butt, everything. You, know, you can see each individual testicle bounce with our new technology. Yes! And yes! they grow and shrink with the weather. Yes! Combine the technology of the Scarface game with Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 and fucking... And, and the physics, and we have got uh, a triple-A phenom, phenom on our hands. We need to consider That's how they can sell the PS5 to people. Yes! Yes! Please! Wow, that was fun. Very fast. We just went through a whole bunch of matches and... Just real satisfying to land those punches and kicks. I think this Dead or Alive is going somewhere. Yeah, modern game advertising is just about being depressed, I guess. Yeah. Ball physics, ball physics, ball physics. 
Whoever's listening. That's the new frontier. Let me reset, damn it. Please let Danny quit. Sorry, Danny. You are you are trapped in the uh, dead or alive dimension. Oh, there you go. Thank. I'm glad you got to escape. I think we're almost through with this demo disc. Let's play one more game. Cool. So what do you think? What kind of impression would this give you of the Dreamcast if you played it back in the day? I would actually think this is pretty cool. I want to play these games. Yeah, they're all pretty neat. Fur Fighters won me over. Dead or Alive 2 is a great one. Of course, there's Sonic Adventure. Oh, this one has Turok controls as well. Oh, we've Danny and I have seen the live action Dead or Alive. That's one of the best video game movies ever made. No joke. You know why? Because it's not boring. <laughs> It's not up its own ass, either. Yeah. It knows what it is. It just gives you an entertaining 80 to 90 minutes. Beware the hand of Hans. Got it. Who here has played MTK? I I played the, the PS1 demo of the first game, and now I'm playing the Dreamcast demo of the second one. You know, I've heard a lot about it, but I've never played it. I know it's a third-person shooter. Assault, Kurt, I've got to refresh your memory on how to use the coil suit. Use X, Y, B. Whoa! Yeah, you got this, uh, parachute. Oh, that freaks me out. At the same time for diagonal movement. Use the analog stick Press two buttons at the same down, time, because that's totally side comfortable side. to do. Once you're comfortable moving about, stand by the... It's like he heard I was you talking, and now he's talking about comfort. Does MDK stand for murder, death, kill? Like from the, whatchamacallit? Uh, it does. Movie? Oh, wow. And aim with the analog stick. Destroy those targets in front of the exit. I also hear this is a comical video game. It's supposed to be funny. Okay. I'll be the judge of that. Laughing? I don't know, it's making kind of a goofy noise. I do like that. I've placed a grenade somewhere close by. Walk over to it and add it to your inventory. Right. Grenade. Now to throw it. Press up on the D-pad. Shitting me? I guess there are a limited number of buttons here. Smashing. Oh, pretty. Now, I like that. Jump. Okay, I like the purple smoke. Uh, Look that definitely gives it an extra star as a fun factor. Run toward it and jump on it by pressing the left trigger. Oh my God! It's a platformer. Now, jump to the platform closest to you. Literally a platformer. Now, Try a para jump to the next platform. Press and hold both the left trigger and the Y button to glide to your target. Try this actually seems like way more of a platformer than Metal Arms, You'll honestly. Can't land but I guess we have to play this, more of it. This seems like it has better control than Fur Fighters. It's less squirrely. Right. Enough jumping around, lad. I've turned on a fan in the middle of the room. Stand on it and open your parachute. Open your parachute. Oh. By holding your parachute open in the updraft, you hey, I just want to say I viscerally hate the, the way your parachute you. looks. It looks a little now fleshy, doesn't it? It looks just parachute. like a bunch of spikes. First, get the sniper grenade by bumping into it. Now, stand by the arrow at the edge facing the exit. Press down on the D-pad to enter sniper mode. Ooh, Use the I remember this from the first game. To look around. Press Y and A to zoom in and out. All X right, and so. B straight and right trigger fires. It can stand for murder, death, kill, but they have also said that it doesn't stand for anything or that was whatever, so whatever. But apparently a lot of the merch said murder, death, kill on it, so there you go. I like the float. You can really float. Yeah, JP Ronnie, that's what pisses me off. This parachute is just a couple of tendrils. There's nothing for the air resistance. How is it... How's it you supposed to float like that? Yeah, how do that you deal with work? How do you deal with drag and etc.? Yeah, yeah, this is just I'm sorry, this video game starring superheroes is just a little bit illogical for my tastes. Oh, I see what you want me to do. Yes. Yes. Maybe I need a different weapon. <laughs> All right. Or yeah, I probably yeah, center yourself right. and yeah, get his ass. <laughs> there you go. First shot. He did good. He did good. Oh, these controls are way better than the fur fighters. It feels nice and fluid. You move a lot faster. Got him. I'm 
might like this? I've never played this before. That was pretty neat. This looks good. I know this also came out on PS2 as well as PC. Apparently this came bundled with IMAX for a while. The power of the Macintosh. Unfortunately, I don't think there are any rats in this game, but if there are, well, you will find them. I wonder if you can you shoot while parachuting. Them. Oh, you can! Nice! Dude, okay. alright. Am I an MTK fan? I think so. Man, these controls are weird, but it's only because they give you such flexibility that you can even do this. Then again, I have to hold down both triggers and tap the face buttons while I'm doing that. That's cool. Enemies are nice and juicy. Ooh. Ooh, look at all the juice they let loose. Okay. They're Let's like see. gushers. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I see. Distracted. Oh! Oh, that's cool! Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I know this game is all about its wacky weaponry. Alright, Chad is demanding we play a rat we play rat games again at some point. We will. Maybe I'll make a multimedia Monday rat edition or something for Pride Month. There's probably more of them. There there are a lot of rat games because I downloaded a whole <laughs> <laughs> I still have them there that we haven't even played. Ratgames.torrent. This is this is alright. Chomping noise. Yeah. Oh I see there's generators a la gauntlet. I like when shooting games were more about more than shooting, you know? Mm -hmm. Like you had to do some platforming, maybe had a couple laughs. Nowadays it's all boots on the ground, shoot some dudes. Fuck that. Fuck that hyper-realism. Seriously, yeah. I hate that shit. Bring out MDK3, damn it. This one's a winner. We're gonna play this. I like this. Uh, stay tuned for future Dreamcast Mascot Friday featuring MDK2 and Fur Fighters. Hey, later in this game you play as a pet, as this a main character's pet dog. Sweet. All right, game good. Let's move on. Generator disc, not bad. I would have some fun with that. But how about we move on to the official Dreamcast magazine? For a time, there was a monthly magazine here in the states that you could buy, and in addition to uh, the paper thing itself, it also came with some demo discs. Ooh. We're going to play Volume 9. Oh. Official Sega Dreamcast Magazine, Volume 9. All right. Featuring... Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that, Danny. Well, here right on the cover is Gene Simmons with an axe. And I don't mean the guitar kind of axe. Oh, I don't like that. Also got Star Lancer, Skies of Arcadia, Army Men, Sarge's Heroes. Oh, like uh, Portal Runner. The yeah. Day. Yep, there he is. Good old Sarge. Okay, well, we're gonna play some Sega Swirl here in a minute, I guess. Skies of Arcadia. What the fuck? Yeah. Silent Scope's good, but... I was gonna say, there's a lot of good games on that. Uh, Is this a platformer, too? Welcome to hell, Danny. At two, kiss. Alright, I'm checking out, uh... Oh, hell yeah, there's the, the dog you can play as. It's got... He's got four arms. He does. Good dog. Alright, everybody, what's your favorite kiss song? Um... Um, I guess, uh, the, the, when we're, uh, rocking and rolling all night and partying every day, I enjoy mm -hmm. that. I like Detroit Rock City, because it's rocking out so hard, you don't notice that you're gonna get killed by a truck. <laughs> wow, the Dreamcast gave me a punchline there, did you hear that? Yeah, I groaned at you for that! Ugh. <laughs> I'm right, though. Alright, people like uh, when you turn the CD player off when you're not listening to it, uh, <laughs> don't have one, don't like KISS. I take it none of y'all are knights in Satan's service. That's what KISS stands for. <laughs> uh, people say their favorite thing is just 45 minutes of Paul Stanley's stage banter. <laughs> well, this is a game if you're a fan of KISS. 
Oh my god, spiders. <laughs> Can I just say Do we something? need to play anymore? Do we need to no. see any more than that? No. I was going to say, I think... Remember this era of PC games? I think it's so funny that all the kiss stuff was all this weird, gory, like, ah, Satan stuff. But if you listen to the music, it's, yeah, it's so It's all funny. songs about partying and having fun. Yeah, it's so banal. And, be, and sorry, being Dr. Love. Sorry, sorry to call fucking kiss banal, but kinda. Yeah, kiss is guar for boomers, but like, fucking boring. I fell in the lava. He died, man. Why was there lava here in the station? Well, I'm just gonna stick my face here in the lava. <laughs> Danny, it's gonna melt. Let's see. Uh, Believe it or not, this has the same controls as Fur Fighters and uh, MDK2. Chaz, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, in the 90s, there was someone who was literally licensed by Kiss and called the Kiss Demon who wrestled in WCW. Wow. Yeah, there was a weird, like, in the mid to late 90s and a little early 2000s, like a Kiss revival. Bloodshot really Visions. Where am I right now? Vincent. Vincent? Did Kiss me? Yeah, I think I remember Kiss meeting Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm here! <laughs> this guy was in at least like a dozen PC games circa 1999. Yeah, right? Like, that's just. This is just. Oh, I had to, I had to hustle over here after starring in Kingpin. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I have three lives left. Let's see if we can make the most of them. And yeah, as Isaac Merch said, I think when it when it comes to when it comes to pe when it comes to musicians wearing white and black makeup from Detroit, I think I might prefer the ICP. <laughs> ICP is somehow less embarrassing than Kiss. Kiss are still performing these days. They're still out there doing it. They still rocking and rolling all night. Yeah. Or just well, until most like 5 most of the night. Yeah, they're rocking and rolling until they get to go to Luby's. I like how that guy is short, and then he's like, the perspective on that guy is yeah. killing me. <laughs> uh, this game was not well received back in the day. Uh, I remember reading a review of this back on the Old Man website, Old Man Murray, if any of y'all remember that. Oh my god. Uh, Fucking... Eric's biggest complaint about this game, and I feel it's a valid one, there's no kiss music in it. Like, yeah. Like if hey. you're gonna, if you're, if you're that kind of guy who goes out and buys a game with Kiss on the cover and is about Kiss, you want some damn Kiss in it, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Chris. What the fuck is Chris? I'm not. I'm not paying my hard-earned dollars on Kiss. <laughs> stuff my, my, the last thing I see is Peter Chris's name upside down. <laughs> as I think about rocking and rolling. All night. Every day. Even these weapons seem kind of shit. They didn't seem to do much damage before. Time to take the train down into hell. Yeah, even even the Journey game had had music, like for Atari. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. This. Want to know what's even more fucked up? What? There was a, a pinball game for PS One called Kiss Pinball. I remember that. Yeah, I think that was mentioned in the chat. Also had no Kiss music in it. So Kiss was okay with licensing their names, but not their music. Not the music. Yeah. I guess they felt video games would just ruin their music. Or maybe like the maybe it was like cheaper to get the name than the actual license of the music. Oh god, I bet they charge an arm and a leg for the music. Uh, I'd asking if uh, Kids Pinball was the first game to get a zero in UTM. That sounds familiar. I think it might have been. Yeah, uh, the same company either that year or the year afterwards also made Austin Powers Pinball, which apparently has more Austin Powers content than Kids Pinball had Kids content. That's so sad. It's a game about spiders just dropping on your head. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm being informed that the uh, the Austin Powers pinball game is not half bad. That's good. I'm glad they got it together. Well, luckily there is jumping in this game, but at least so far I wouldn't classify this as a platformer. Fucking, they just spawn from everywhere. Uh oh, frame rate's tanking. Alright, Carlos was mentioning Kiss at a Live concert on WCW Monday Nitro once, and it was one of the lowest rated in the show's history. Nobody likes Kiss. I feel bad to any Kiss Only fans. Only Kiss likes Kiss. Sorry, sorry to any Kiss fans in the audience that were shit-talking. It's just, what are we, you know. Oh, I just got to Fraley Station. 
Come on. Give me one more life. Please? What? Are you in a butthole? <laughs> that sure is what it looked like. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is my last life. Yeah, all these stations are named after KISS members. I guess that's some KISS content for you. The CBS... Oh yeah, the CBS Game Awards did have... Uh, I almost... I blocked the memories out of that entire thing. Oh, KISS was on that! Yeah, yeah! God, I completely... KISS and video games. They just go together, you know? Like heavy metal and uh, chocolate. So like peanut butter and uh, spiders. <laughs> lots and lots of spiders. Yeah! I want! Exactly, Krunko! First of all, I want a Beatles video game. Not Rock Band, but I want a Beatles video game. Yeah. And I, I, yeah, I want to walk through a beige hallway and see signs like Paul and John. And, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, and you're shooting like, I don't know, mutants. I want a generic shooter with the Beatles. <laughs> yeah, just Beatles. completely waste the license. I would love that. I would love prestigious bands like like a Led Zeppelin game that's just absolute like a like Led Zeppelin mobile game. This or is shit where like the spiders that. all coming from. The Led Zeppelin mobile game. Hey, or Motorhead had an Amiga game. Holy shit! That's cool. We gotta check that out. Okay, here we are, Fraley Station. Tickets. I love that this game is called Psycho Circus. Do you think they were inspired by Spawn in any way? Yes, because this is based off the Todd McFarlane comic. Of course. I love that really brown and... No, I don't love that fucking brown and gray era of, uh... Of, art, of fucking art and games back in the day. You say that's like it's over. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I don't know, there's some more, there's some more colorful, colorful stuff still coming out there. Only difference is you don't fight these spider things in Uncharted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sergeant Pepper uh, maze game, exactly. Do I just kill enough and then the thing closes? I'm sorry, the portal to hell or whatever this is. Uh, it's, so sp oh, it's a generator, I see. Yeah. <laughs> so, is this sick and twisted enough for you, Danny? It's pretty twisted. I can faintly hear some music in the background, and I'm pretty sure it's not a Kiss song. It's absolutely not a Kiss song. It's just generic, like uh, it's music you think you—it's music that I think you would hear in a Spawn game. That explains that one guy who looks very Spawn McFarlane-esque. He like, does, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh god. Also, those spiders look like uh, look like roast, like uh, uncooked roast chickens that had their feathers plucked, and they kind of <laughs> do that thing on their legs. Classic Kiss quote. Sorry, you used up all five lives. Mm-hmm. You used up all five lives. Better luck next time. <laughs> it's fucking terrible, sorry. Yeah, it was very dic the music was very Daikatana esque, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we'll be playing that one again, but I'm glad we got the chance to experience it. Speaking of great games, I don't want to play again. Let's play some oh, Army Men. I'm pretty sure <laughs> lie down is a button, that's good. That's, can I can I press it now? Can I just <laughs> spam the Y? I'm pretty sure Trip Hawkins didn't make a, a rant about this game to Game Pro. Only Portal Runner. Can I make a rant about this game to Game Pro? Is Game Pro still around? No. Okay. If any other game websites wants me to make a rant to them, I can. I'm sure they're used to it by now. Mm-hmm. There she is! Oh, she was there from the beginning. Oh, I love... Oh, she's so good. I played one on... Uh, one of these games on, like, PS2 back in the day, and I fucking barely... I remember being okay. But I was also... But I also remember playing a little bit of it, being like, this is okay, and then playing Worms, and being like, we're gonna play Worms all night. Worms is good. Because I was like, yeah, looking, I was with a friend looking to play two-player games, and... Wakey, wakey, you green-skinned buffoons. Time for a high-caliber breakfast in bed. I love the smell of burnt plastic in the morning. This looks like shit. <laughs> yeah, the game is okay. The game is alright, but I do not know why the franchise went for so long. Colonel, what's going on? 
Sarge, General Blastro and his Tan Army. This really looks like shit. Yes, sir. And not just like, oh, they're arming men, they have to be low detail. Like, no, look at the beds. Look at the everything. Okay. Rescue Grim and escort him. So, uh, you got an escort mission coming up. Already, you're putting me on the escort mission. Well, luckily. You can control this game with the analog stick. There's no face button foolery with this. I love you clipping. I, you've clipped through so much shit already. I love it. Yeah. Okay, they give you a mini map. That's nice. Oh, wait, that's one of my guys. Are you shooting at your own? Were you doing. Were you opening. F Jesus, Danny. Where, where am I being shot from? Do I have to have a lie down? Yeah, take a nap. Oh, I hate the. Oh, oh I hate your legs. Oh, look at the way they clip through each other. Apparently, this looks better on Trey no. Casson. Really? No. You don't say. Every simple 2000 game looked better than this, says Taizo. Pretty much. It's hard to think of a game that looks worse than this at the moment. The tan guys blend in with the, uh, the everything. Oh, there's auto lock on. This does not feel good to play. And again, this was like, what, the 12th Army Men game? Like the... I, this was like, apparently the third in the series or something? Really? Like sec second or third, yeah. That grass looks like shit, I'm sorry. Yeah. I this feel... this very much looks like a PS1 conversion to me. Mm-hmm. So this is apparently generally considered to be one of the best Army Men games, so there you go. Re really? Well, I guess you had to be there, huh? Yeah, apparently these <laughs> these games got pumped out real fast, like once every year. Like death cycle of like six months on these. I can tell. Okay, this is the second of the 3D games. And this is not a conversion of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the PS1 game, it's a conversion of the N64 game. Oh. That would explain. That does explain. We are not doing Army Men Mondays, no. I'm pretty sure I would rather play with Army Men. Like on webcam. Can I use my other weapons? No, but I can turn off the radar. Hey, come back here! No, we are not doing army men. You're so small! Because he's an army man, Danny! Yeah, he's but... Baby! Oh. Look at him go, baby! I went backwards. Danny, don't you wish your childhood toys had guns and were killing each other? <laughs> Imagine if Woody and Buzz were just equipped, you know, with all kinds of no. uh, weaponry and military gear and, you know... It'd be great. I'm gonna use a bazooka on someone. Get ready. Army Men Fridays. No. I did something to fuck up the camera, but whatever. I can't be asked to fix it. I just can't be arsed. There, that's for our British viewers. Okay, that is true. Buzz, Buzz Lightyear already did come with a gun, but I'm talking like, you know... Laser. The Yeah, it was a laser. It doesn't count. I love that grass texture. Just a little... Like, I love the everything. It's a pl like a single plane with a texture on it. Boosh! Ew. Damn, you really gotta deal with the fog of war here. Good to go. <laughs> I've heard of the fog of war, but this is ridiculous. I just realized that Woody does have a gun. He's got a gun in his holster. Wow, what? Why am I trying to equip these people with more guns? This is horrible. This is a horrible video game. The Bravo Company commandos have been kept. It doesn't even look good. The fog of N64. Colonel Grimm, you're hurt. I'll get you to the helipad. Well, his holster's empty because, you know, I need to. I thought that I thought that he pulled out a gun at one point in the movies, but maybe I am just trying to make the movie. He pulled a gun on Slinky Dog. Jesus. 
Okay, we got an escort. Boy, when one of the first things you throw at the player is an escort mission. They love it. Yeah. Good to go. Go! So this is running at double resolution and a higher frame rate than the original, so that's good. I like how everyone just kind of stands there. <laughs> they ran up to us and then just stood there. <laughs> These trees. <laughs> These trees. Oh my god. Okay, I have trees like that's what the trees look like if you're only pay if you're getting trees for free in Second Life, <laughs> and you're like, well, I guess this is what I get for two for trees from 2006. Okay, what do we do about this? The money yeah, field. I agree that more resolution is not doing this game Good favors at all. Uh uh. Well, we survived the minefield. Oh, there's a tank here. I don't think our buddy is gonna survive. Yeah. Well. Did we do a war crime? Worse, we failed our mission. Aw, oh, man. Wow. Army men, huh? People played those games. Yeah, people are asking you to stop, so thank God. Wow. That's a, that was a popular series. Million selling. Million selling. Yep, and I, I, I enjoyed the one on the PS2, but that was it, really. Hey, what's that? Oh. What? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I hope this is two player. Please Me too. This is two player. Please, God. I call Daffy Duck. Mm, mm, mm. Please, God. There's nothing I need more than to. Oh, man. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Man. no. Please. Power mm. of imagination, my ass. And okay, I want to play as a uh, fucking grandma. <laughs> granny. <laughs> yeah, I want to be granny. <laughs> She's pretty tough. Yeah, the the Dreamcast is uh, screaming in pain right now. And I'm yeah, that's how you can so tell hard. this is real hardware. It's very audible. Mm -hmm. The Dreamcast always expresses its displeasure. Displeasure. I I don't even want to think about what that means. <laughs> Staffy okay? He's loading. Is he in pain too? <laughs> Come on, man. Okay. Shit, all I had to do was just scream at it. Oh, you don't have a choice. You can only be Daffy. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Alright, alright, you're doing good. I do have a soft spot for kart racers, so I like... Okay, what I don't like is that he... I don't like that they don't do the gag or they pause for a second and then drop... Yeah, yeah. that's classic Looney Tunes. Mm -hmm. You messed up if you didn't put that in. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what this is reminding me of? What? Cosmic Race. It's reminding me of Rainbow Road. Because you keep flying off the ed edge. Yeah. Okay, I like that. I like that you dropped the safe on someone. I think that's good. Classic Looney Tunes action. That's appropriate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the background pop-in's a little wild. I guess they didn't let him have music. No, no, no! Yes. Okay, good. Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> Luckily, they give you a little bit of leeway when you're about to fall off. Let's take all your shoes and you see me, Sam. Yeah, you don't need any more. Sam, knock it off. <laughs> Alright, one of the buttons looks behind you. I have to stop pushing that button. Alright, Daffy. Looney Tunes Space Race. I mean, there were a couple of Duck Dodgers cartoons, but this is not something that Sylvester and Daffy often did. They didn't often uh, race against each other, along with their uh, Looney Tune pals. On really complex racetracks that don't have any guardrails. Yeah, I gotta say, for like being the first level of the game, this looks like... We're dead. I do like the spacey sound effects. Not gonna, I, I, I can at least praise it for that. You just push what's-his-face ahead of you! 
And Phil Grames is entertaining. The power I mean, of imagination. I mean, innovation. You know, whatever. This is... I won. But yeah. did I really? Honestly, none of us are winning right now. I'm gonna go with no. Oh, well, I'll look forward to it. Oh, hell yeah. I'll ask my grandma right away. Grandma, please. I want the game where I just run off myself off the road over and over. <sighs> that was anti-fun. Yeah. But you know what is fun? What? Sega Swirl. Oh. But first, we should play this. What's that? This is a Dreamcast Magazine exclusive game. You could not get this at retail. You could not download this off of SegaNet. Only in this issue of the official Sega Dreamcast magazine could you get this game. Yeah, Christmas 2000 was not a good time to be a Dreamcast owner either. This is multiplayer. It's up to four players because the Dreamcast has four controller ports. Only got two here. Oh, no additional clips. You mean, oh yes, digital eclipse. Sorry, sorry. Look at these characters. Look okay, at them. Okay, I like this design. Who are you going to be? Oh, I get it. She's, don't I? Yeah, uh, you're playing. Uh, I like that lady. I'm gonna be Miss B. Is she puking? Oh no, her teeth are just green. And you get a bunch of maps you can pick from, and you start the game. Okay. This one keeps it simple. It is a magazine-exclusive game, after all. Uh, you use right trigger to move forward, left trigger to move backwards. Don't uh, pick up the skulls. Uh, you use the D-pad to turn. It's pretty much just like combat for 2600. I keep going off the edge. There we go. And A is shoot, it looks like. So this is a nice little freebie. Just something to play with your friends. Uh, it reminds me a little bit, not in terms of gameplay, but in premise of Death Tank for Sega Saturn. Yeah! Death Tank is classic stuff, though that's more of a scorched earth kind of thing. This, they give you fun things like reflecting bullets. Those are always nice. I found a strategy. I'm still dying, but I don't think it matters. There's the H. Pick it up, Kermit. Oh, okay. yeah. Please, it's Alex. I'm spawn camping. Stop spawn camping me! I'm a good man! I don't deserve this! Please! <laughs> cool. Yeah, way back when, occasionally they would have exclusives on magazine demo Please. discs. Not as often as, say, back in the ZX Spectrum days. Since those games ran on tapes, you could just put pretty much anything in with your magazine I I or, your, or your compilation. So this was a rare treat here on Dreamcast. And obviously, it would be a little bit more intense with four players. Please, please, I need item. I need item to live! B. Hey. Now who's spawn camping? Quit your camping. No way. Just call me camp. Just call Size me. Size up, I'm bigger now. Just call me little asshole because I'm Camp California, baby. <laughs> Bad game to be playing if you hate tanks. It is. Hey, don't spawn camp me. There are no rules. There should be. There should be rules here. I should not be spawn camped. I should not have... Oh, shit. Whoa, big bullet. Let me tell you a story from back in the day of uh, Dreamcast Online, playing games with your uh, dial-up 56k modem. Uh, one day my brother was playing Daytona USA, which had full online for up to something like 8 or 12 players or something. And he joined a group of players called Fast Assholes, which is one of my favorite group names ever. That is so good! And anyway, the group disbanded due to disagreements because everyone except for one racer found out you could run through the pit lane to cut a couple seconds off of each lap. And that one guy got so apocalyptically mad afterwards. He was ty typing in all caps for like five minutes. You're know, like, I can't believe you shitheads used the fucking pit lane. What a bunch of fucking idiots. Go oh, to wow. hell. Hope you all fucking die. Stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> just, I love that. Just getting so mad over Dreamcast Daytona USA. 
<laughs> I'd be mad at something. Anyway, I won. Congrats, Danny. Uh, this game's not very good. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> but it is something. So if any of you ever join the fast assholes, you gotta play with honor. Don't run through the pit lane. I will only play with... You know me, I only game with honor. I'm an honorable gamer. Good. Gaming is an honorable hobby. Sure. Let's play some Sega Swirl. Okay. That's, That's a, a classic. One. Oh, man. <laughs> Broken Scholar mentioning a group they saw named the Scrub Lords of Narnia. That's good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, we gotta start up the browser to do this. Oh, man. Okay. Well, you you're gonna. You may not be able to do this then. Yeah. You're gonna see how clunky the Dreamcast browser is. You know, I've got a couple of the Dreamcast browser discs. I have a sealed one. Damn. Fancy man. They're not worth anything. I, yeah. Welcome to Planet Web. This is how we would interact with the internet back in the day. Where are we from? It had to load the assets off the disk. I'm calling from the United States. Mm -hmm. We're like, ring, 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 hello. I don't know if we can... This is it. We're signing up for SegaNet. All right. Hey, look at what we can do on SegaNet. Wow, amazing. It's... it's... Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Gaming. Head to head. Exclusive. I don't like the way that you put the, the, the tone in your voice. Online when you said head games, to head. tournaments, sweepstakes. It's here. Cancel. Are you fucking kidding me? There was something you could do to start. Um, uh, you could access. Use your own internet provider and put 69 in the phone number I'm seeing. All right. Put like a cuss word or whatever. Six nine six nine six nine six nine. <laughs> Hold Dream on. Dreamcast really does not want to load this. Yeah. Just just click save and see if that does it. Maybe. I was no. And just I'm, hit save. I messed with this the other day. That's what I'm seeing. So I, you need to do that. Okay, let's do that then. I wish I wish I could. I was about to say I wish I could get pwned by Fred Durst, but I don't like the way that sounds. Never mind. There we go. Let's play Sega Swirl. There you go. We made it, everyone. <sighs> We're on the information superhighway. Man, superhighway super sucks. <laughs> it's congested and. Back in 1999, the only websites were about army men. Mm-hmm. Minmo. Hey, Minmo. Minmo shirt, available today on the Yeti. Oh, I saw that. That shirt is cool as shit. Who played this? I bet a few people played this. I like the music. Mm-hmm. Is that a snake? Yeah. I love this aesthetic so much, Danny. Oh, my God. This just looks like a web page from back when. All right, a lot of people played this. Uh, oh, yeah. Sasquatch, Opponent, Electric Boogaloo. Now, you may have played this game in another form, where it was called Samegame. <gasps> is this just Samegame? That's exactly what it is. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. You gotta get rid of all these pieces with as few movements as possible. And the more you eliminate it once, the fancier the animation you get. Like, watch this. Ooh. Oh, very cool. Let's put together all these blues. Oh, you can eliminate one at once, too? A lot of games won't let you do that. Nice. I think it comes with a score penalty, but okay. whatever. Check this shit out. Yeah! Baby, you're a firework. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I thought you were gonna connect all the purples there. Sorry. I'm just doing what I can. Okay, okay. Man, that snake is rock. I love that snake. Mm hmm He's a good mascot. Like, yeah, yeah. There, we did it. Nice. You got the goals. This was a simple game, but it was everywhere. You could get it on pretty much every demo disc. 
Anything that had a web browser would also have this game included. Excellent, I met all my goals. <laughs> I love when that happens. Let's just... Let's focus on bringing together like a shitload of one color. Okay, how about purple? Yeah, let's do all the purples. Alright, sounds good. Purple is what we're gonna get rid of last. Yeah, this is, this is how I, I play Samegame. I just go nuts. It's satisfying. It is. getting there. You're doing it. Mm. No, not that one. Okay. Yeah, go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. This is gonna be disgusting. This is gonna be disgusting. And then you get the blue. There you go. All there right, you go. Ready? It's all the purples. Here we go. Let's party. Yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Oh my god, there you go. Feels right. good. A few people have mentioned that this game was actually distributed in Europe on, uh, in other, in other places, Dreamcast places, in a magazine, just as a, like, a, a standalone game. Mm-hmm. You, you could pretty much get Swirl anywhere. If you wanted to Swirl, you could. Of course, I don't know how the game works, or how to get good at it. But it's fun to mess around with a few rounds because they're pretty lenient to begin with. For sure. Plus it's got this soundtrack. I do like the music a lot. I love that snake man. That snake, that snake friend, I should say. They look cool as hell. They're confused and cool as hell. I love when you just think cool and they just nod. Yeah, I like, I like his nodding. Yes, yes, he says. You think um, some swirl maniac is getting real mad at how I play? I hope so, and I hope they leave a comment about it on uh, Twitter to <laughs> us. I hope that they just spam our Twitter and just... Like, hey, dumb shit, should have been row two, column seven. God. Look, I can enjoy swirl how I want. It's true, you can. Okay, uh, Lance Boyle says that there was apparently a Sega Swirl 2 that was exclusive to GameTap, of all places. Wow, GameTap. I remember that. That's where I played, uh, Last Express and a whole bunch of other games. GameTap was good for a while. Oh, cool, and thank you to, Ele uh, Electric Funk here for posting the, uh, link to the Sega Retro interview with the designer of this game. Well, let's move on to our yeah. final demo disc. Alright. This is going to be Sega Dreamcast Magazine, Volume 8. Ooh. Dreamcast makes so many interesting noises, even when discs are just spinning down. It sounds like a big sigh. You know, it is a very emotive system. Yeah. Uh, people are like, oh, you didn't play this, you didn't play that. We'll play it later. They I wanted Super Runabout. I don't have enough time. We're, yeah, we're running low on time, folks. we got a lot of games to go through, sorry. This disc... In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and skip to my favorite demo on this disc. Okay. This may not be to everyone's taste, but I remember enjoying it back in the day. This is one demo. Me and my dad fired up. And we just played this for a really long time for one really specific reason. I'm kind of afraid. Because this disc has a demo for Hoyle Casino. Hey, I love the chat's like, hey, I want to see P Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk, and you're like, Hoyle Casino. We saw Casino. Tony Hawk. To uh, to Toilet Casino, yeah. Toilet Casino. Listen, I'm a little hungry for lunch, and apparently I'm just calling things toilets now. <laughs> Now, I bet you none of y'all have seen this game. Uh, Sega Swirl, if that was a game that everyone played, this is a game that no one played. And for good reason. I'm afraid of what you're going to, what's going to happen here. This demo is pretty much unbelievable, so you can start off with all these different characters. Excuse me. Hey, cowboy. <laughs> I like Randall. But, I love Wando! Is she a trucker? But in the end, I'm going to go with... Old Casey, who came to the Las Vegas with a thousand dollars in his pocket and a whole pocket full of dreams, using his Vice credit card. Welcome to the Hoyle Casino. Thank you. 
So this is a screen where you can click around and zoom in, see various people having fun at the casino. Look at these renders. Oh, that's all right. This is a little, maybe 2000-ish, but you know, it's a time. Point and click. Why aren't they moving? Well, time seems to stand still when you're at a casino, you know? Okay, they, but that's true. They don't have clocks. All right, you're banned. Fair enough. You can examine every part of the casino. And this is how the game starts you. It just starts you on this screen with no explanation after you pick your character. This is being called Mist Casino? You would think, right? Like you could navigate to one of the games via this, but you can't. <laughs> this then is what just, is this for? It's just for show. What? Why? I guess to really put you in the uh, the casino mood. You get to see people who are ready to jump cheaters. You can see some couples ready to lose their money. <laughs> uh, hey, Gold Gaming Kid, we're playing uh, Hoyle's Casino, or as I called it earlier, Toilet Casino. You would really think this was a navigation thing, but it's totally not. I like how the, the machines are animated, but not the people. So you might ask... How do you play this thing? Well, you have to do it through the menu. Okay. And you can play slots, or you can play blackjack. He's probably... Maximum stakes. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alex, I, sh I just saw Alex slowly shaking his head to the side. I like, what the fuck is Danny doing? No, no, it's just like... Uh, in the PC Hoyle Casino games, you could be, you were able to click on the games on, to play them, so it's just I a see. Dreamcast. Here's what makes this game fun. Okay. It's the options. The environment options. You can make the characters talkative. Uh-oh. What do they... What's with Rick? Rick looks intent. Rick is a hard-drinking man. He brought his beer to the table. I don't know about those hands there. Look at them. Look I, how detailed they are. They are detailed. Those are like really man. That's a really well manicured hand. Hit me. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, not good. Thanks, Rick. No one asked you. <laughs> he sounds drunk. Nineteen. Nice hit. You yeah, must Leo. You're feeling pretty full of yourself right about now. Yep, that's me. I'm feeling so full of myself. Of course I'll take a hit. Do I look like I'm finished? Hey, these... Soft 18. These I'll guys... stand pat. Is this too loud? To ask? No. I'll stand. These guys seem like assholes. You have to take risk to win big. Hit me. Okay. 19. No more for me, thank you. 17. Hey, winner. Hey. hey. Keep it up. Winner here. Just high enough to collect the goods. Hey, nice one. <laughs> Looking good. Jasper wins. I am a black jack master. Jasper refers to himself in the third person. He sure does. Bets, please. Yeah, the stereo sound on this is weird. Yeah, it's positional depending on where the character is. Uh, what do you say we swap in some different players? Are there different players? Yes, there are. Let's say goodbye to Jasper. Mm -hmm. And let's bring in... Oh, Rick is already at yeah, the table. Rick is already there, drunk and looking intense. Who's the character I want? I want the cowboy. There's a cowboy in here who never shuts up, ever. Maybe it's Bart? Yeah, there we go. It's Bart. It's definitely Bart. Okay. Bart is one of Cowboy's my favorites. Here. Cowboy's uh, worth a lot of money. We should also bring in... I don't know about Leo. Yeah, get rid of him. Shall we bring in Carlos? Alright, he looks cool. Alright, this nice is our jacket. group. We, we came here to Vegas together. He we, looks like a VC tech guy. <laughs> we carpooled. Me and my drunk friend Rick, the Texan Bart, and a guy we just met on the road, Carlos. Luckily, you can skip the dealing animation. Damn, Rick! Man, we're all looking pretty good except for Bart. I wonder oh, what he has Bart. to say about it. I am done. Blackjack! <laughs> but you just got here. Congratulations! You know, I can keep it up all night. <laughs> and I mean that in the nicest way possible. <clears throat> I don't trust the dealer. I stand. Ten. Fourteen. Sixteen. Dealer is out. 
Hey, hey. Way to go. Winner. Nice going. I am enjoying this game of blackjack. Lucky Is it like something like Antonio Banderas type accent? Oh. The way he says that. I love win? putting this game on talkative because everyone please. has the worst thing to say possible at every possible time. Why well, was... You know what, Rick? I think he's being very inappropriate. I'm just going to say it. Hit me. Play your oh. busts. You'll Shame. do better next time. Tough choice. I'll stay. 12. 18. Oh, wow, congratulations. Man, <laughs> Rick is... Rick is drunk as shit, did you hear? Rick is sick. You gotta bet money to make money. Place your bets, please. Now, if anyone knows how to do this, please let me know. But I swear to God, one time, me and my dad were playing this, and we somehow made all three opponents bark. And they never ever, ever shut up. It was just constant cowboy talk, wall to wall for like the half an hour we played it. We could oh, never shit. make that happen again. Bart is my favorite character. Mm, yeah, hit me. Soft 17. You take cards better than Bloomingdale's. <laughs> I hate Rick. I'm gonna kick his ass. Where, Rick, where do you live? Do we want to kick Rick off the table? 21. Uh, it you depends on how much more longer the USS you Missouri. <laughs> he said you took more All hits than the USS huh? Missouri. <laughs> That's the laugh. Now. It's the Good laugh that he like does me that pisses know me instinctively off. instinctively when to stay. I may be dumb, but I ain't stupid. I'm a standing. <laughs> I'm with Bart. That's me. <laughs> this one is on the house. Dealer busts. Player wins. All right. Winner. Nice job. The blackjack is going well for me. Winner. <laughs> Looky there. Hey, there you go. Well, isn't that nice? <laughs> the dealer sounds tired. The dealer sounds like the way I sound. He's been dealing play play. all day with Red, talkative please. Dreamcast people. He's been dealing with Rick all fucking day. Rick is totally the guy, like, one of those guys who, like, ends every, like, text you with, like, ha-ha. I'm going to double down. Who does the same thing. I'm going to double down on 18. Well, let's see if I can give you a good card. Oh, boy. Busted. <sighs> nice try. Sounds if I could change the result, believe me, I would. Give me your best shot. 10. I am not ready to stop. 15. No more. I stand. I don't need any other cards. I'll stay here. This is as good a place to stand as any. Nine. They turn it into a narrative. 13. It's the thing I like about it. That's it for me. Dealer yeah, boss. Yeah, I don't like Carlos paying out. in my ear either. This is the day of victory I knew would come in this game of 21. <laughs> Player wins. Who is... Gotcha. I, who the... F How's <laughs> pays? I'm just as proud as can be. <laughs> Like, I say, I guess it's supposed to be Antonio. I, I'm yeah, assuming play. it's, a pan Reds, it's like literally just trying to be Antonio Banderas here. This game shit. of blackjack. No one talks like that. Let's do it one sounds more like hand. an SNL skit. Yeah. It sounds like an SNL skit that Jimmy Fallon would have to apologize for now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't like it. Ooh, blackjack. 21. Nice. Go. Good job, Casey. Better than eating beans, huh? What the Blitz fuck? Ball, baby. <laughs> that is my hometown. I miss it so. What? 14. If it would not be too much trouble, I would like another card. Carlos briefly dropped the accent. 16. It was all an act. Yes, I shall take another. Krunga, that's a good point. 19. It is a little Ricardo Maltabom, too. Yeah. That's 16. probably what they were going for. Let me split and cast my fortunes to the wind. 13. I am one who lives on the He's edge. gotten like 20 Open cards. What is going on with Carlos? 18. Wow! This is the end of my rod. <laughs> 10. I must double. Doubling down. <laughs> Good luck to you. I'm all in here. Sorry. I want to see what happens. Oh, hey, no 14. the hit man for nothing. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> I better stand while the standing's good. Oh, Nine. my God. Eleven. Just give 18. Carlos all the cards. Winner. 
Wow, a win, a lose, and a push. Great job, Carlos. I love Carlos. You broke Thank even you and you took half Place the deck. Yeah, Rick actually murders people. It sucks. One, one more. Okay. One more. Okay. I love okay. I love talking to my poker buddies. My blackjack buddies. My BJ buddies is what I call them. Oh, I don't like that name, Danny. Hey, yes. way to go. Blackjack. Even good. This blackjack of yours, it makes you happy. I can see that. Rick just chugging while Carlos talks. <laughs> is, is Carlos hitting on me? Cards. I mean, I'm down. You better take my chances. Stand here. Eight. Is he standing at thirteen? Soft knight. Yes. Loser. Oh, too bad. Push. Sorry. Not enough. No, I want a good. I want a good Place note to end on. Occasionally, they say really twisted stuff. They actually have a large bank of different possible things they can say in different situations. All right. I like the looks of this. Oh. Damn, nice. Double down. Hope it works out. He looks so happy. I stand here now in a position of power. Hit. <laughs> Twelve. Go ahead. Make my day. <laughs> 20. Hard to improve on these cards. I'll stand. Yee-haw! I'm standing on a winner. 12. <laughs> 15. Feeling generous. Dealer busts. Pay nice. Up. Winner here. <laughs> I nailed that sucker. <clears throat> I mean, my heart soars with joy. Hey, I love winner. that Carlos is a Keep shitty fake. I love That's that he's a fucking. Me now. Player wins. <laughs> and looky there. Oh, Carlos, what the fuck? I like I like blackjack Red that tells please. a story, and so far this is the only blackjack game that's done that for me. Hoyle Casino on Dreamcast, uh, surprisingly a lot of fun if you like ridiculous dialogue. Yes, Carlos is Bart's son. Absolutely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right, like, so what's what's good. everyone's deal? <laughs> Everyone is, like, s sick and twisted secretly. <laughs> I gotta check out the full version of this sometime. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's, like, even more characters. Come on, let me quit. Let me quit the... Let me quit the video game. Am I just here at Hoyle Casino forever? Yeah. You're trapped. <laughs> You're trapped in the casino dimension. Yeah, it's really not letting me quit. Sorry. Well, I guess that may be a sign we need to move on to our final games. Yeah, we should probably do that. Yeah. Well, everyone enjoy being trapped at the Hoyle Casino with Bart, Carlos, and our drunk friend Rick. Constantly making inappropriate jokes. Alright, what are we playing, Danny? Um, next up, this game actually requires like a minute of setup. Okay. So why don't you just tell me what you thought of Bart and crew? Okay, so Bart I like... Uh, I like Carlos hamming it up to, I assume, let your dark guard down or something. I like Carlos. Yeah, uh, he was getting in your head. Yeah, um, I think, I, I don't trust Rick. I get a vibe from Rick that makes me deeply uncomfortable. And Do you I, think he's even, like, drinking alcohol? Or is that just, like, soda? Oh, it's like, it's... It's just soda, but he's just, you know, trying to... Oh, I'm so drunk. Better bet against me, because you're going to win all the money off the drunk guy. I bet Bart's accent is fake, too. <laughs> Everyone's accent is fake. Everyone's fake in that game, except for you. Drama. That's what's missing from casino games. That's why I only play Hoyle Casino on Dreamcast and Golden Nuggets starring Adam West on PS4. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree, though. There's there's a lot that's missing from these games, and there it 100% is, is drama. All right, so what do you want me to write for the game title, Danny? Uh, you know what? Is the game screen on right now? No. Why don't you just... One second. Okay, one second. What I hear out there is that the world needs a little bit of cheering up. A wise man once said, it ain't no joke, I'd like to buy the world a toke. And this is my way of doing that. Okay, I guess... Put it so. on. This is Chicken Soup for the Soul, a.k.a. Oh. Clive Barker's Busy Town. <laughs> 
I think this deserves a return now more than ever. <laughs> Turn it up. Welcome to Busy Town. Oh, that Climb seems good. on board the apple copter and fasten your seatbelt. Move the mouse to pick the playground you want to visit and click. In the playground, you'll become a Busy Town character by simply moving the mouse. The mouse. This is the Dreamcast Sega Genesis emulator based off the Sega Smash Pack. Uh, this emulator, you may have heard, has a lot of problems. On the other hand, it makes Richard Scarry's Busy Town way, way, way better than it would be otherwise. Today we're gonna build a house. Hi, I'm lonely. I'm building a house for the Stitches family. I'm depressed. Okay. Want some help? Great. Nice. I'll go get the mortar and bricks with my forklift. Alright, get some bricks. Get some brown we bricks can and go build. Up and down to build the chimney. Yeah. This is an educational game on Genesis. Mm -hmm. But I feel it's very much improved by playing it on Dreamcast. Ever hear a child be so excited to put shingles on a roof? I mean, I know I love to do- I mean, didn't you put shingles on a roof as a kid? Didn't your family, like, make you do it? Or contractors came to your house and you're like, yeah, let your kid do it. Just, just shingle the whole roof. <laughs> Love a the threat there. Uh, all right, to mention that the emulator was originally programmed by Yuki Enterprises, uh, later Examu, who later created Shamurai Showdown 5 and, Arcan and the Arcana Arts games. I can't pronounce it today. All right, so we're just a kid, but we're gonna lug this water heater and install it ourselves. Heavy. <laughs> Here's the cold water faucet. It's a long piece of pipe. You'll figure it out. Yeah. Just stick all the pipes together. The hot water faucet is next. Dreamcast just groaned. <laughs> <laughs> Install this water heater. Like fucking he's gonna install it wrong and your house is gonna fill with carbon monoxide. I'm sorry, man. Are you no. ready for the washing machine? <laughs> that was heavy. Why are you making this child do this? The furnace weighs a lot too. Well, get to it. I go. Oh, jeez. Oh, so. Oh. <laughs> Please stop making children do this. Heavy. Here's the smoke pipe, Huckle. Oh, I know about that. Oh, Huckle knows what the smoke pipe is. <laughs> Everyone in this version of Scary Town does. Let me know if this air duct fits, Huckle. <laughs> One, probably should have researched that beforehand. Two, Maybe, maybe this child isn't who you should be asking. The green chair is very big. <laughs> oh god, my back. I'm like seven year old, seven years old. That was heavy. It's the only seven year old with a hernia. Put the lamp next to the chair. Well, this doesn't weigh as much. We're almost done. Carry the television carefully, Huckle. It's okay. fragile. Carefully, huh? I like that. <laughs> I again love that this is just some adult who's like, "Hey, kid, could you put? Could you build a house? Thanks." We did it. Look how sparkly the house is. Oh, it's beautiful, and you're just standing in midair. Let's find out if everything works. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Yeah, this is Animal Crossing, Uzi. 
That's enough of that. Oh, we can replace the smoke pipe with lowly worm. No! Danny, no! Whoa. Excuse me. My shirt is clean. Whoop. No hot water. I'll get help. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> I'm glad they're at least making an adult turn on the hot water heater because Jesus Christ. Well, I gotta wash my hands, then I gotta wash my shirt, then I gotta wash my hands, then I gotta Get wash my shirt. Get away from the shirt. water heater, kid! Here's an interesting program. Yeah, you're trapped in the washing loop. Have we done everything? You have done everything in the house. Mm, this water tastes great! Mm. Before we finish, can we see Captain Salty? Yeah. Okay, thank you. That's my only request. Well, look at that. We built a house all by ourselves. And I mean that. Every bit of it. Now someone else gets to live here. What a beautiful house. Bye bye! Okay. That's me when my house gets built. I'm screaming hooray. <laughs> hooray! We gotta do Captain Salty. We Cap have to. Captain Salty Captain is Salty. the best part of this game. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm just twisted, but this always cheers me up, this game. Yeah. Just hearing everyone be very slow about doing everything. Yeah, there's no bathroom in that house. Let's get this ship put together. Let's get this ship put together, man. <laughs> Hmm. This is how you learn how ships work. Okay. The propeller moves the ship through the water. I'm glad we're showing off Captain Salty during Pride Month. <laughs> the engine drives the propeller. Pride icon, mm -hmm. Captain Salty. The big container holds fuel to power the engine. He was at the Stonewall riots, you know. There from the beginning. We send messages with the radio. I will throw this brick at the police. <laughs> I love them. We stand a legend here. The compass gives us our direction. I could use a little direction in my life. <laughs> Captain Salty, you okay? Radar helps guide us across the sea. Yeah, this is like the Pride cruise ship. It's so, it's so bad for the environment, but it's so cool. The lifeboat is for emergency. Oh, okay. Thank you, Captain. Don't use it for fun. I'll find you. We cook our meals on the stove. The flag waves in the breeze. Thanks, Captain. He just has a way of saying everything. I find it very charming. Yeah. A member of the crew sleeps in this bed. <laughs> this bed. Just the way he says everything. Our ship carries mail in the mail bag. We also carry postage too. Yeah, I love that he trails the off. Holds lots of clothes. Clothes. It's mostly leather today. <laughs> the life preserver will float on the water. I don't need your shit, kid. I survived New York City with the Vice Squad in the 70s. Nice work. Here comes the crew. Gotta Here bring them in. Oh, 
Oh, he was supposed to go in the lifeboat. Well, yeah. fuck it. Go home. Leave. Try again, kid. You're no longer in the Navy. You've been dishonorably discharged. Alright. Dementium <laughs> describes Cap... <laughs> God. Dementium <laughs> describes uh, Captain Salty as a blurry VHS tape. <laughs> he sure sounds like it. I can see everything from up here. Yeah. We need a full crew. Oh. Where is... Oh, I missed it. Mm -hmm. That guy's going home, too. Ah, fuck it. You didn't land right. Anchor the bay, Captain. <laughs> yes, these are the gay rats. The rudder moves when I turn the wheel. <laughs> ah, nothing like the flesh the air. Thank you to Z-Tray Life for the 28-month resub. They say, do sailors typically board via parachute? Oh, like my it's... Cooking. It's, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a technique. It's how Captain Salty does it. Yeah. Messages coming in, Captain. Also, thank you. Thank you so much. We're learning today. Fuel. Engine set. Ready to sail, sir. I don't know if we'll have enough time for the fire station. We still gotta paint the ship, but we'll see. <laughs> Well done, crew. Let's see how things work on our ship. The way he says that. Engine set. Ready to sail, sir. Mm, mm. All right. How about you? Messages coming in, Captain. Good, good. Good. I think that's the guy up top that you need to talk Anchor to. Anchor the bay, Captain. I love that guy. Like, the top top, he's kind of glowing there. Okay. Yeah. Well, a lot of them are glowing. That's true, that's true. They're a very... It's the ultimate glow up here. Let's just go ahead and start painting. Yes, Well paint. done, crew. Now let's get this shit painted. You know, I've done a little painting myself. <laughs> <laughs> the asides, the trailing off. I think he's been at the Hoyled Casino too long. <laughs> hanging out with Rick. I did a lot of painting on this Stonewall Riot. I did a lot of blackjack myself. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Glitchwitch, for the raid. We do appreciate that. Nice. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. We're, uh, this playing... is the greatest video game ever. This is a Dreamcast emulator playing Richard Scarry's Busy Town. And uh, not emulating the voices correctly at all. I say it's emulating them just fine. Are we done? I mean, it's technically the Dreamcast. Oh, I think you have to paint that stripe down there. There we go. There got you it. go. Never mind. Aye, aye, Captain. We're ready. Full steam ahead. <laughs> Just the way he says everything. Well, we can feel good about that one. We helped mm -hmm. Captain Salty and his crew get out on the big open ocean. Goodbye, Captain. Have fun on the Pride Cruise. <laughs> Delhi? Right. Uh, no, uh, a fire, fire station. station was requested repeatedly. So. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Smokey the Firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> I like how- Fire holes will squirt water on the fire. Everyone in chat is is declaring that these these that everyone is like smoking what? weed here, and I mean I can't deny it, but it's either a creepy pasta or a, a weed rebrand. <laughs> this siren makes a really loud sound. Yeah, Richard's uh, Richard. Uh... The red flashing light gets everyone. Never mind. Richard, busy back. scary town. I was gonna call it fucking. Richard Smokey's Weed Town or something. <laughs> oh, well, that was... Yeah, Snoop Dogg's Busy Town, exactly. It <laughs> was a tough day of putting together the fire truck. We better take a nap. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. That sucks. Oh, God, there's a fire. Uh, I need my raincoat to keep me dry. Yeah, Busy Town runs on uh, taxed weed revenue. <laughs> Get on in. We gotta save some lives. Yeah, Broken Skull. They're, they're all cross-faded here. 
Look out, everyone! Watch out! What'd you hit? A trash can. Okay. Where's the fire? I'll find it eventually. Everyone's like looking out their windows like, hey man. Oh, there go my tires. What are you doing? It <laughs> Stop it! You're just you're a menace! I've been saying we're better off without a fire department. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Thank God! <laughs> Alright, we finally made it. Yeah, it's a very blondie siren. Jump! Jump! We'll catch you! <laughs> That cat is really happy. He is. Can't wait to die. One more. Aww. Jump. Oh, nice tumble. Alright, now we gotta put out the fire, I guess. Okay. Let's uh, attach it to the hydrant. Yeah, let's do it. Fire. Danny! Well, my job here is done. All right, I guess we should put out some fire. Are you sure? No way. Yeah, we're watering the uh, the victims here. Good job. We did it. We put out the fire. Well, everyone, I feel pretty good about what we've accomplished today. We put together a ship, we managed to build a house for people, and then we burned it down. But we put out the fire, so it's okay. No! The fire! The, the fi fire! I love that! I love that they're like, please, God, <laughs> could you focus on the actual fire? And you're like, what's that hurt you? Sure, great! Go to that. Oh, y'all love being squirted with the fire hose. Let me do it some more. Oh, this is this is my. I'm doing. I'm just. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> yeah, squirt it, squirt it, squirt it, squirt it. Ugh. Well, on that note, uh, we're done here today. Thanks everyone for watching. Oh, thank you. We'll be back on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central with the winner of this week's poll. The theme was NES Publishers Kusoge Edition. Uh, by a landslide, the one choice everyone wanted to see was high-tech expressions. So tune in on Wednesday. We'll be playing every single NES 8-bit game developed, or rather published, by high-tech expressions. They had a stable of misfit developers in with them. Uh, to give you some context to this, these are people who made, like, Barbie games, educational games, a couple of Sesame Street games, even. Mm -hmm. And uh, at least one of these developers, RSP, later changed their name to Running With Scissors. Oh, wow. So these games are so bad that they twisted the developers who made them and forced them into, uh, I don't know, whatever Running With Scissors did. So that'll <laughs> be a lot of fun. A lot of horrible games coming up Wednesday, and I hope you'll join us for that. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex, why don't you wrap us up? I'll look for a host. Hey, we're also on Patreon. Uh, if you'd like to support us, uh, we're at patreon.com slash retropals. If you pitch in five bucks a month, you can uh, get access to our weekly polls, including making us play... Uh, Elmo Big Bird or whatever. So um, I, do, I do recommend that if you want to support the show. We're also on YouTube at youtube.com slash retropals. We post uh, highlights of our streams there, including what we posted today, which was uh, part two of Pipers. And uh, this one has a little bit better ed audio editing, so do please check it out. Um, if you want to see a man sing about rats and the rats sing back and, and the man is jason david frank yeah. from power rangers if you want to see jason david frank versus a bunch of gnarly rat puppets i recommend it gnarly is a good word for him very gnarly incredibly gnarly just nasty nasty rat men hmm let's see here mm -hmm. who's streaming a platformer i feel like we should we should uh, boost the platformer streamers at the moment i don't know why that's yeah what okay that's not a platformer, that's Star Trek Picard. Damn oh it. My God. 
<laughs> Danny, uh, you're being recommended to to host Real Soggy Real Soggy Bears host playing Crash Three. If That's you want. yeah. I just saw that. I was about to say that. So it's decided. Okay. Uh, please enjoy Real Soviet Bear playing Crash Bandicoot: The Insane Trilogy. Oh. These are the Crash Bandicoot remakes. Uh, I beat Crash One in that collection. Still got to go back and beat Two and Three. It's good stuff though. And I know Bear is real good at these platformers, so should be a fun time. Mm -hmm. So enjoy that. Have a good rest of your day. And thanks for watching. We'll see you later. See you, folks.